you may remember uh, Heyman Bukele from the evening news or throwing out the first pitch at the Washington Nationals game. Uh, but to those of us at time, he is our 2024 Kid of the Year. Thank you so much for being here. A deserved applause. We are so excited and inspired by what you're doing. I, I know you have to graduate high school, um, <laughs> but I would love to hear a little bit about what you're working on right now. Sure. Well, first, thank you so much for having me. It really is an honor to be here. And so to talk a little bit on what I'm working on, I guess the biggest project and the biggest amount of work that I've been doing is this past summer, I was doing research at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School for Public Health. And pretty much what I was doing was beginning some preclinical trials for skin cancer treating soap. And I think the video explained it pretty well, but it's this affordable and accessible alternative to modern day skin cancer treatment, which can be super pricey. And so this summer we tested it on mice. Uh, so uh, my lab and I, we injected the, the mice with a basal cell skin carcinoma cell line. And then after that, we started to test a bar of soap periodically over uh, two times a day for about four weeks, and we were really happy with the results. We found that the tumoral growth decreased over a period of four weeks, and that, that really excited us, and that's something that, of course, needs so much more research, so much more testing, but uh, made me so happy, and that's what we've been doing for the past summer. That is so inspiring. How can we inspire other kids like you to get involved in health and in science? That's a great question, and that's one I ask myself every day, too. I mean, when I'm not doing research, which primarily takes up my summer, I do love inspiring, especially youth, talking with kids my age. And I, I think the best way to do it is to have the conversations, to give exposure to people who might not have been exposed to STEM and STEAM from a really young age. I think I, I'm so fortunate to have had that exposure. Uh, the video talks about it, but I, I love mixing different household chemicals together. And my, par <laughs> my parents always worried I would one day burn down the house. And <laughs> that, that, nev that never ended up happening, but I think that that initial curiosity was what grew to the, the cancer research I'm conducting today. And so for, for any kid, that, that level of exposure and that level of confidence and having people that believe in them and show them what's right is essential, and that's how we're going to start having more. Well, thank you so much. Another round of applause.